deeply, and when I put the mask on, just start counting back from 100, okay? What am I doing? Oh, well, I'm using an anesthetic to put you to sleep. Okay, so just relax, here we go. Why? Well, so we can perform this operation. All right, here we go. How does this stuff work? That's a good question. I'll be back. Well, the reason we use anesthetics is pretty obvious. To block pain. Now, normally pain is a good thing. It warns us that some part of our body has been damaged. But sometimes we need to inflict a little pain in order to fix something that's wrong with us. And in those cases, we need some way to control the pain. So how does an anesthetic control pain? Well, let's start with how we detect pain in the first place. Now, I'll use purses here as an example. Now, if I poke her hand with this needle, Ow. she'll feel a sharp pain. But what's interesting is the sensation of pain didn't really come from her hand. It came from her head. Here's how it works. When the needle pricks her skin, a signal is sent along the nerves in her arm, across to her spinal cord, and then up to her brain. Her brain then interprets the signal as pain coming from her hand. But if for some reason that signal doesn't reach her brain, she won't feel any pain, no matter what happens to her hand. And that's where anesthetics come in. Anesthetics come in two basic types. Those that keep you awake, and those that put you to sleep. The ones that keep you awake are called local or regional anesthetics. They work by blocking the pathway that the pain signal takes to your brain. Just think of a pain signal as a telephone call between the injury and your brain. When you inject a local anesthetic, you temporarily disconnect the line between the two parties. And if your brain doesn't receive the message, you don't feel the pain. Now, unfortunately, you can't always use a local anesthetic. For minor surgeries, it's fine to have the patient awake. But for major surgery, it's pretty essential that the patient be asleep. And that's where you need a general anesthetic. General anesthetic. General anesthetic. The concept behind general anesthesia is pretty simple. Instead of blocking the path that the pain signal takes to the brain, we just shut down the brain itself. And if your brain can't receive any signals, you can't feel any pain. During an operation, the job of putting the patient to sleep belongs to the anesthetist, a doctor who specializes in anesthesia. He starts by hooking you up to several probes that will be used to monitor your vital functions. Then he injects a fast-acting anesthetic into your bloodstream. Within seconds, you're asleep. However, the effect of this initial drug is short-lived. So to keep you asleep, he switches you over to a breathing mask containing a mixture of anesthetic and oxygen. Depending on the operation, the anesthetist may also give you additional drugs that relax your muscles, including the ones that inflate your lungs. And in those cases, he connects you to a ventilator that does your breathing for you. Now, there is one big misconception about general anesthesia. Even though we often talk about putting patients to sleep, they're not really sleeping. When you're asleep, certain parts of your brain shut down, but the rest of your brain is still very active. So even though you're unconscious, you can easily be awakened. But under a general anesthetic, things are quite different. Instead of affecting just part of your brain, the drugs slow down all the nerve impulses throughout your entire brain and spinal cord. This global suppression of your central nervous system not only causes you to lose consciousness, but it also prevents your brain from being able to respond to any outside stimulus. Oh, don't worry. It's just a dummy. <gasps> But manipulating your brain like this doesn't come without some complications. The biggest being, how much anesthetic do you use? If you don't give the patient enough, they could wake up during the surgery. Not a good idea. But give them too much, and you've got a different problem. Too much 
each anesthetic can slow down your nervous system so much that it can affect the delivery of blood and oxygen to your vital organs. But how does the anesthetist know if a patient has too much anesthetic? He can't ask the patient. Instead, he has to rely on his monitors to tell him how the patient is responding to the drugs. Give us a demonstration. I have Dr. Devitt with me. He's an anesthetist here at the Sunnybrook Health Science Center. And he's going to use our computerized patient to show us what happens to your body when it receives too much anesthetic. Now, don't try this at home. Dr. Devitt. This is an induction agent. That's a drug that puts you off to sleep. I'm going to inject a dose that's in excess of what the patient uh, would normally receive. The first sign of too much anesthetic is a rapid drop in blood pressure. To compensate, your heart tries to beat faster in order to pump more blood. But the drug is now preventing your lungs from delivering enough oxygen. This causes a drop in your blood oxygen level which means less oxygen is reaching your heart and brain. Without the proper amount of oxygen, your heart can't beat as fast, and your blood pressure falls even further. If this situation were allowed to continue, your brain would eventually shut down, your heart would stop beating, and you would die. Of course, in a real operation, this would never happen. At the first sign of a problem, the anesthetist would reduce the level of anesthetic and increase the flow of oxygen to your body. And if necessary, he could also inject a drug which would quickly increase your blood pressure and restore normal blood flow to your vital organs. Hello? Hello? Ah, there you are. So when you think about it, general anesthesia is essentially a very controlled drug overdose. Now that may sound dramatic, but thanks to technology like the vital signs monitor, it's actually a very safe procedure. Which is good for us, because let's face it, without anesthetics, any kind of surgery would be pretty painful. Now I just want you to breathe deeply, relax, and when I put the mask on, start counting to... Yeah! What am I doing? What am I doing? Well, I'm just putting you to sleep with this anesthetic that I just... <laughs>